the softbox is the ultimate piece of equipment. It is available in many sizes and shapes, but it has to be adjusted to the job you have to do. First, let's install it on the flash. It will fit here on the front part of the unit and again held in place by the accessory clip. A softbox will take the light from the flash and bounce it around all its volume and reflecting on the highly reflective surfaces before sending the light through the diffusing material. The light have been diffused two times and bounced around. There's a first internal diffuser and the external diffuser. And all that material here will reflect and bounce and optimize your light. The softbox will light the surface of its facing. This is the main surface that the softbox will cover. A little bit larger, but not that much. You wouldn't, for example, use the softbox to light a whole family. This is made for a single or a couple portrait, or a small object about that size that can be held in front of it. Remember, the closer is the object to the face of the softbox, the softer is the light it will receive. The LBDR36 box is a very small box. It is made to light smaller objects. You see here on our model that you have a beam of light on the face, but a very fast fade on the rest of the image. The light goes down very fast. A softbox needs to be adapted to the size of what you are shooting. It is very important. Never think that the small softbox will do with a big crowd or with a big image. Aurora softboxes are especially made to get the best out of the light you put in there and to deliver all the light that goes through it. But it will not do a larger beam than its size. By installing the louvers on a softbox, you get the ray of light to travel straight. That means they will go on your subject and nowhere else. Let me turn the light on the subject and you lose me. I am just behind. The louver will make the light go forward without any possibility to go sideways. It has many advantages. You can darken your wall, for example, and you can avoid flaring in your lens by moving the flash in the proper direction to be able to cut the light coming to the side and send it only directly on the subject. I will install the large louvers here that do the same job as the honeycomb grid that we put directly on light. This is the honeycomb grid of my softbox. And you can see that the light becomes a lot more directional and there's no more light that go on the side. You don't see the front and there's no light on the wall. Easy to install and it's a honeycomb pattern. You don't see the light and there's nearly no fall off here on the wall. So at a certain distance, there is no more light on the wall and your subject still is lit. The 810 softbox 
is one of the most versatile. It's a very flat box, it is in the fusion series, it has vents so you can open them to avoid overheat in the box. It's equipped with a double layer of diffusion. It can accept shapes in the front to do a strip light or to do a round light spot light. This is the large soft box and when you have a soft box take the time to move it sideways to look at the effect on your subject and move it around to see how it can wrap and fill in the shadows and you can even go backward and get side lighting that are more artistic and more dramatic. Changing the cover means changing the shape of the reflection in the eye and changing the behavior from a rectangular to a strip box, for example. With all the control of the strip box, very straight, very sharp light, less loss, more effective and direct light. This is the strip box of the 810. The strip slip cover will provide a strip light effect. That means the directional light that will give harsher shadows because the light is smaller and will produce a beam of light that is straight on the subject. It will also increase all highlights and shadows. You will see more shapes and more volume in the face, for example. Let me show you when we move it just around that you have more rapidly some shadows on the face and you can have a beam of light. The great thing about this slip cover is the catch light that is now like a stick just on the side of the eye and we can move the light from going under or over to have horizontal catch light over the eye or under. The round slip cover that goes over the 810 will provide on your subject a more directional light. It will be a smaller beam of light and it will provide a catch light that is round. Here you can have the large barn doors that can be installed on the softbox. They will make it possible to cut completely the light outside of the range. So if you want, for example, to cut the light that goes on the wall beside the subject, you will be able to channel the light directly on your subject without sending light to the outside of the box. All light will be channeled out and you will have the complete control of where the light from the box goes and this will send absolutely no light to the camera so no risk of flares and no risk of light that come from an unexpected direction. This is the square portrait box from Aurora. It is equipped with the tool that we use the most often in a portrait studio is a reflector to bring some light under the chin and nose and eyes of the subject. It is the reflector panel. It is a silver reflector panel that will bring some light under the chin and to fill in the shadows. You can see under the chin, on the side of the face, that the shadows are being filled with the reflective panel.
blood tears. Super. Here in the center here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even if you try to be tough, you can. Hey. Just go straight. 